So the first um, tool that I want to show you, all three of these tools I'm gonna to show you today are from Lackey Kid. They're an awesome company created by a dad of a child who has autism, and he has created some really high quality um, tools for helping kids get the sensory needs met. So this first one is probably my favorite because it's so, so simple. You can carry it in your purse. It comes with 10, so you can put them on multiple different chairs, take it with you, put it on. It's very um, versatile. So this, I hope you can see this. Okay, buddy, can you put your feet up on it? So it's just a big rubber band. I should have grabbed the other one. You can put your feet on top of it. It's okay. Can you do it? Put your heels on it. There you go. <laughs> okay. So it's just a big, thick, elastic band. Um, and it's called the fidget chair band. It's thick and you can bounce your legs on it. So I had trouble finding a table that he would actually sit at and get enough good lighting for y'all. But normally his <laughs> whole legs would be underneath a desk and he'd be able to bounce his legs up and down and not disrupt anybody. I love that it's silent, okay? It's not making this huge noise that's gonna annoy everybody else. Yeah, he also likes to get some proprioception by bouncing it against the back of his legs. Do you do that more often? Do you like that better? Okay, yeah, so when you're swinging your legs, you can do that. Um, you can also move it up and down for different heights, of course. It doesn't slip down. Um, and yeah, I just love that you can bring it in your purse, and so if you're at the doctor's office, you can use it or you know, at Sunday school or whatever, and it comes in a pack of 10. And my son likes to wear it as a headband. He thinks it's pretty cool looking, <laughs> right? All right, so let's see. Oh, another benefit of active seating is that it gives a child flexibility. So when their needs change, um, they can have different seating that works for them. Um, we've talked about before a couple weeks back about all the different um, ways that sensory needs will change throughout the day in different seasons. It's kind of like a bank where you're storing up your sensory input. And so some days kids are gonna need a lot of sensory input and other days they're not gonna need quite as much. 